Okay. Warm weather is on the way. Rick Reich with this tracking Florence as it slowly crawls its way across the Carolinas. Over to you, Rick. By the way, a lot of those rivers drain into South Carolina. So mm -hmm. a lot of the heavier rain that we're seeing in North Carolina, those rivers drain through South Carolina. So we're going to see those uh, rivers go up. By the way, a five-day forecast from the National Hurricane Center. This storm came on shore two miles away from where they had predicted five days before. So an incredible accurate forecast, at least as far as the uh, the direction of it. This is the last 24 hours. Also, this prediction for it to stall down, this is a 24-hour satellite map, and you can hardly see this move. It moved from the center of it from right around here where it came on shore just to the south of Myrtle Beach. It's about 110 miles. You'll also notice on this last little uh, loop, that stuff piling up right there, that's additional moisture. Still have air moving over the ocean here, and that is going to continue to pull more moisture in across the coastal areas. There's the center of the storm. Still this onshore flow. Uh, Todd is right, right just to, uh, to the south of Cape Fear. First time they have a storm surge warning uh, that's been activated there for this next high tide cycle. But all of the uh, storm surge that came onshore initially with the storm, that's the bulk of the storm surge. All of that water still being f uh, funneled in there, and that's not going to change at all. But take a look at this, guys. There's a ton of moisture with this. Probably about 8 to 10 inches of rain today falling across that exact same area, and that's just today. I just moving along the coastline like that? Uh, it, here's the deal. Once it came right on shore, we didn't know. Is it going to be like right offshore, right on shore? Yeah. Because it's moving in the exact same direction as the coast, uh, it's very difficult to say. Is that 10 miles one way or 10 miles another? Very difficult to get that kind of forecast. Yeah. But that said, they nailed it five days out within two miles of landfall, which is incredible. Thanks, Rick. Right. Appreciate it.